Hello, in this video we are going to look at some examples of using composition in order to determine whether two functions are inverses. The first thing that you want to do, if this helps you um, highlighting or writing functions in another color um, to see exactly what's going on, you can go ahead and, and do this and follow along in your notes using different pens. I'll use red for our f of x function and I'll switch over to, to blue for our g of x function. So I, I have two functions and I want to determine are these functions inverses of each other. So what we have to do is we have to go ahead um, and use composition to determine this. And, and what we want is, is when I have g of x, I want to plug that into f of x and I want to get x out. So what we're going to do is the first step, I guess you could say, is I'm going to take f of and I'm going to take g of x now. And I'm going to plug that inside f. So what that looks like is I have one third of x, which now here's where I'm going to plug in. I'm going to take my function g of x. I'm going to plug it in here. So I have 3x minus 3. And I'm going to finish off my, my f of x function. Make sure that you complete your f of x function here. Uh, that you don't just stop here at g of x. That's a common mistake. So now I'm going to go ahead and distribute. One third times 3x is just x. One third times negative 3 is a negative 1. And then I have a plus 1 on the end. So x minus 1 plus 1, well that is just x. So I got I got what I wanted, which is good. That's good. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move on to my second step, if you will. I'm going to now uh, compose f of x inside g of x. So I have f of, sorry, g of f of x. And let me switch over to my red pen, f of x. And what I want to do is write my my g of x function three times and now I'm gonna stick f of x inside of g of x one third x plus one and I'm gonna subtract three so again make sure you you complete your your g of x function here so now I'm going to distribute 3 times 1 third x is x. 3 times positive 1 is a positive 3. I'm going to take my negative 3 and x plus 3 minus 3 is just x. So both conditions were satisfied. So what we can say is, and what we can show here is we can say therefore, and that's what that's what this means. It means, therefore, therefore, uh, f of g of x is equal to x, which is equal to g of f of x. Okay, good. That's good. And what that means is, therefore, f of x and g of x are inverse functions. Okay, QED, Woo. put a little box. This box means we have shown what we have wanted to show uh, and therefore we are done. We have used composition to determine whether each pair of functions are inverses. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do another example here and let me write my, my functions f of x 
is equal to negative 2x minus 6. And again, here we're using composition to determine whether the functions uh, are inverses. And I have g of x, which is equal to negative 1 half x plus 3. Okay, so I'm going to start off. Uh, step one, I'm going to compose g of x within uh, f of x. So I'm going to take negative 2, um, and instead of x, again, I'm going to plug in my g of x function, which is negative 1 half x plus 3. minus 6. So when I distribute negative 2 times negative 1 half, well that is a positive x. Negative 2 times a positive 3 gives us a negative 6, and I have my negative 6 here. And at this point, uh, the alarms in your head should be going off. You should say, hey, those 6's didn't cancel. I now have x minus 12, which is not equal to x. Um, and that's good that we encountered this on our, our first step. If we had encountered it on our second step, again, we, we would reach our conclusion that these are not inverses. But on our first step, we saved some work. So we can say, um, therefore, f of g of x is not equal to x and what that means therefore f of x and g of x um, are not inverse functions qed all right we have shown it that they uh, are not in this case not inverse functions here is a practice problem and what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pause the video try this on your own um, and then go ahead and view the the solutions okay so hopefully you have paused the video uh, I'm about to post the solutions please check your feedback uh, you can see here that since we got an output of x for uh, f of g of x and g of f of x, that these two functions are inverse functions. Hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next time.